Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Rebecca and today I'm here to share with you just a miniature quick little grocery haul from Aldi. This is just a filler grocery for the week. I previously shared my Sam's grocery haul so I'm just going to share with you what I picked up from Aldi and how I'm going to put it together this week. So first off, we picked up these pita chips. I want to make some Greek salads this week and I like having a little crunchy element to them and so I picked those up. Taylor also always gets to pick out one item of her choosing and she loves these little cheese cracker sandwiches so we picked those up oops I also saw these Parmesan crisps and I've been seeing these at um, like regular grocery store you know like Kroger and stuff so speaking of Kroger I actually did have to run in there because I had to get a couple items that already did not have this week this is a pan that I'm using for the beef short ribs and then um, we just got four ears of corn. So we're having corn on the cob, the greens, and red cabbage. I make a delicious kind of sweet and sour cabbage. It has a little spice to it, cardamom. It's delicious. And so we're going to have that. And I just randomly saw these little mini loaf pans. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool for like some smoked meatloaf of some sort? So if I have time, I might actually make that. But um, otherwise, in the future, we will. Because we're going to start smoking things a lot. We do that a lot in the fall. Because typically on Sunday, we'll go to the pool during the summertime. But now it's going to be switching over to fall and smoker Sunday time. Also picked up some organic bananas, organic frozen green beans. Also do like getting these from Trader Joe's because they're only two bucks for a larger bag. But um, these are like $2.29. So a little bit more expensive at Kroger. Also picked up some steak fries. This is just for to have like a quick side item. Love throwing these in the air fryer. But just picked up two bags to last us the month. I also want to make my turkey chili, my Cincinnati style turkey chili this week. And so I picked up four cans of the organic diced tomatoes. And then also to pick up organic tomatoes um, for these tuna BLTs that we're going to make. Which I just use, um, I call them BLT squared because it's tuna, bacon, lettuce, and tomato. The T is squared for tuna and tomato. And then also picked up some grape tomatoes for the Greek salads. Taylor also has sliced tomatoes on her wrapper, which we picked up a pound of the low-sodium boar's head ham. After having low-sodium ham and then you have regular ham, you are like, whoa. It is so, so dang salty. Um, and it just, we love this ham. So uh, this is what we got for this week. Also picked up some pickle slices. These are for, um, these are for Taylor's wrapper. She loves having like a ham wrapper that we put uh, ranch dressing, ham, tomato, pickle and then a like whole wheat tortilla it's delicious for her and also picked up these fruit snacks I've never bought these before but um, every week her and her friend uh, go to gymnastics together so like we do carpooling basically and so we'll take them both there and then her family will drive them both back so I always bring a snack and she never eats the snack because apparently she doesn't like chocolate and we always have like chocolate protein bars or Belvitas or things like that and um, so we asked her well what does she get you know and it's always some like fruits stuff and so um, and like cheese cheese and crackers or whatever and so we got those um, laughing cow little snack packs from Sam's so we're gonna use those and these as like the after school before gymnastics snack and see if she'll eat them and it was so funny because I'm in the aisle with this stuff and we were looking for organic fruit snacks which I've never bought because I feel like it's just sh gummy sugar because it says it's fruit flavored snacks they're not even like real fruit in it and so I'm like looking okay does it have fiber no fiber I'm like well then it's, there's no fruit in it this has just one gram of fiber but still that's better than no fiber right and there was a guy in the aisle like beside like he was like walking by us and i tell taylor i'm not buying sugar-filled gummies and he goes you tell her mom <laughs> i was like yeah and she's fine with it you know we're just trying to teach them it's not to say that you can't ever have that like if her friend gives that to her fine it's fine it's you know not a huge deal but well, i'm trying to like teach her good habits and just get the best that we can Last thing that I picked up from Kroger is just our normal Bolt House Farms ranch dressing. This is for everything, you know, veggies, her wrappers, uh, ch chicken. Chris likes having like buffalo style chicken and dipping in there. And so, and salads, of course. But that's just the little stuff that I picked up from Kroger. But um, I never get them. I don't know. So they're like usually like four dollars. And I just like, I don't know if it's worth it. And these are $2.79 and I've just been wanting them. I think these are really good actually on a Caesar salad. So maybe we'll try that sometime this week or later this month. 
on the meal plan this week. We're having barbecue chicken sliders and love getting the Hawaiian buns because they're just super delicious with barbecue chicken. Also picked up some mashed potatoes. This was in like the front section. They don't usually have these, at least I have not seen them. Um, but Taylor loves mashed potatoes, chicken, and green beans. So we picked this up to make as a side item for her one night. Also picked up a four pack of organic avocados just for avocado toast and a Southwest salad and plus um, some smoothies. And then picked up a bag of the organic apples. Like I mentioned in my Sam's Club haul, I've been craving apples and almond butter. And so I'm excited to have some apples and I might even use this with that caramel sauce, like the caramel dipping sauce we got from Sam. So that's gonna be really great. Picked up this bag of chopped kale and this is actually gonna be for potted greens and using some onions and bacon grease and some red pepper flakes, some wine, some broth. I make some really good greens and almost always use the same recipe. So we're going to have that. Picked up a couple salad kits. One is this bacon avocado ranch. In this, I'm just going to throw some chicken on. We're going to make extra chicken on the grill so we can have that for a work salad for Chris. And then picked up the buffalo ranch. And this one I'm actually going to use as the topping for the barbecue chicken sliders. I just thought it would be really easy to mix this up and then add that to uh, the slider for the extra crunch rather than making like my own coleslaw, which I almost did. But, you know, sometimes you just got to make it easy on yourself. Plus the spice will pair really well with the sweet barbecue. And then picked up some celery. And so this is actually going to be for snacking and to make a broth for beef short ribs. So we're making beef short ribs. And your needs are the recipe we have calls for like celery, carrots, onion, bay, rosemary, wine, broth, salt, pepper, garlic. And you're going to make a really nice broth and actually put that in the smoker as well. And then like put the ribs in the smoker once they're colored. So delicious. Picked up a bag of onions for that broth. But also we really like having onions as just like a side item. Put them on the grill or just saute them in a pan. And then obviously for salads and other things. And typically I use the red onion, but you could still use these. Just thinly slice them uh, for the onion, like the Southwest salad. This is the garlic. We're just gonna chop it up for that broth. And then this is actually what I went to Aldi for. So I have so many grocery stores around me and just depending on what I actually need that week is will determine like which grocery store I go to. So I picked up three bottles of this ketchup and this is organic ketchup uh, just made with real sugar and it tastes just like the Heinz ketchup but like half the price. So we really like that. And then also really like their tomato sauce. So we're going to use this for a quick dinner of meatballs and um, gnocchi that we have from Trader Joe's. Also picked up the tomato paste. Oh, and this is actually for that broth too. I was just telling you about with the beef short ribs. Picked up some black olives. And this will be for the Greek salads and Southwest salads. And lastly, just picked up the pasta rings with meatballs. Um, I usually will just give her the regular ones and throw in turkey dogs, but we just decided to get this because that's all they had and thought it would be fine little like lunch or um, quick dinner, serving it with a couple other things to make it a complete meal. But that is everything that I picked up from Aldi this week. OMG, I almost forgot because I was starting putting the other stuff away. Look at this. Mint M&M chocolate cookie ice cream bars. If you don't know this about me, my favorite cookie is an M&M cookie. And I'm absolutely obsessed with chocolate mint. That's why I have peppermint mocha smoothie like every single day. And it doesn't matter if it is summer, fall, winter, or spring. Chocolate mint is my jam. So I'll pick these up too. Thanks for hanging out with me and letting me share with you what I picked up from Aldi. What did you get this week? Have you gotten into the seasonal items yet? I didn't even go down that aisle because I was so focused with my list today. I was at the gym, that's why I look like a hot mess because I went to the gym, then went to Aldi, then I had to go to the bank, do all the things, now I'm back home. I really hope that you have an awesome day and enjoy your weekend and please go do something good for yourself because as I always say, you are number one.